Uh, help me understand what's going on with Rich Paul. With Did he slip up and say LeBron's a free agent, or was that premeditated? And <laughs> it, it's and how is he orchestrating? He's almost trying to orchestrate where Bronny's going to go, as if they have a choice where he's going to go. It's not like you're a high school athlete picking your college, but, man, I get the feeling that Rich Paul is, is at least presenting this to other teams that we're going to dictate where he's going to go. And if you don't abide by us, we don't want, I, and I don't know what those, I don't know what he could do. If a team drafts Bronny, what are you going to do? Can't go back to college. So what do you yeah. think? What do you, what, what's Rich Paul's game here? Well, I think first I'm going to ask a couple, you know, questions a couple ways, DP. So first of all, I think um, what he wants is Bronny to be drafted. First and foremost, you know, when you get drafted, it's not DP back in the day. You know, I wasn't covering the league back in the day, but, you know, in the 90s, I I remember. Remember when second round picks, DP? Remember, most second round picks didn't make the team. They didn't get guaranteed contracts back then. That It's changed over the last 10 years. Second round picks are getting three, four year guaranteed deals. You know, they're getting commitment. They're getting time and resources invested into them. So um, Rich Paul's statement to me about. Him not, um, he him not, he's not going to allow Bronny James to sign a two way contract, and people took that as all. Oh, he he going to try to keep Bronny from going to the G League. No, it's not that. It's that he would rather Bronny get drafted, which means the team is showing a commitment, and he could get three, four years guaranteed money under his belt. And also about the dictating, I think, um, you know, I think basically if there is any dictating, I think the only dictating is as of right now, only power he has in dictating is trying to tell teams in the form of the league that two ways would not be considered. So if you're really thinking about if you're really thinking about having a chance of getting Bronny, it's going to take one of your draft picks. I, I think that's what he was trying to get uh, get to the masses. OK, but what if a team drafts him and says, hey, we're going to send you down to the G League? What's that's fine. No, that's fine. He's drafting. He's still getting a, a three-year minimum yeah. guaranteed deal. Yeah, and and that's the investment. That's the commitment. You know, when you get a two-way, you know, that's a, a year deal. Then, you know, you you play fifty, you play forty-something games in the in the NBA, forty-something games in the G League. If things work out, you know, you they can move on after a year. You know, so that's the difference between a two-way deal and then getting drafted where that's actually a commitment that a team is putting into you and they're going to give you a three year, four year guaranteed deal. And so that's where um, Rich Paul is trying. That's the direction Rich Paul is trying to steer his client in. LeBron going to resign with the Lakers? I, DP, I have a hard time believing he's going to go anywhere else. And for T, I'm sorry to answer your question about the slip up. It Was it a slip up? I don't know. What I will say is a lot of players and agents feel like if their client has a player option, they view it as being a free agent because they have that option to pick it up or not. But you're technically not a free agent until you decline that player option. So I don't know if people saw the alt cast. I immediately, as soon as Rich yeah. Paul said, I, you know, Blonde's a free agent. I had to look. So if you saw, if you look at the alt cast, look at the replay. He says LeBron is a free agent. So I look down because, you know, this is my job. It's my job to stay up on top of this. I'm, I look down and start Googling. I'm like, when did LeBron announce he was declining the player option? And I couldn't <laughs> find it nowhere. So then I'm waiting that I got my head back up. And I waited until Rich Paul to finish. And then I, you know, went and interjected. I'm like, hold on. You, you mean he's uh, declining that player option? And he was like, yeah, Chris, you know, I'm not going to negotiate <laughs> on air. <laughs> we'll get to that down the road.